Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, we're going to get into just some quick exercises, uh, some simple things you can do at home. You know, again, it's easy to just say, go to the gym, go to the park, go work out. There's a lot more that comes into that. So gonna be just working on hand-eye coordination, you know, stimulating the vision, stimulating your hands, and really just nice and simple. All that requires is just a ball. You can get creative and have a little weird misshaped one for those uh, that are, you know, looking for more balancing or your ball is moving a little bit more in whatever sport you're looking to. Um, or just a simple, nice round ball where you know you can control the ball. So, like I said, just a nice big wall, some simple bouncy balls, and we're gonna work on hand-eye coordination. We'll get into that right here. So here we are. For some of us, you know, we can just sit in our living room. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad. Hey, we gotta get our work in, right? Find a wall, find somewhere that's away from everybody, away from everything because you're gonna be making some noise, right? You're gonna be making some noise. So some of us might need a little bit of a warm up, you know, so this is something you can do in the morning, at the end of the day, and that's just simply following the ball. Stay nice and relaxed, nice and easy. Whatever sport you're in, if your balls are coming a little bit higher, okay, bring those balls a little bit up. Don't forget that lower half. But again, focus up top. Work on that ball coming in. Work on that ball going away. This is something you can do to yourself. You got a partner, you got a friend, a buddy, a neighbor. You know, you guys tag team. Right. Coming on in. Many, many different angles. Those golfers, the the tennis players, you know, when the ball is coming from the bottom, from up, from underneath. Play with that ball coming up. Bouncing back down. Ball coming right back up. All right. Working on peripherals. Just go ahead and look straight. Have your partner, somebody in front of you, somebody behind you, and seeing how far you can see the ball. Again, be creative. Get some letters on the ball and see where you can see. Yep, I see the letters. There they are. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. All right, challenge yourself. Letters, no letters. All right. After we've done that a couple of times, nice and awake, ready to go, we're going to start playing with our hands and our vision. We can do this standing up. We can do this on your knees. Nice and simple watching the ball go off the wall and coming on back. So we work on something called convergence. So we gotta see that ball coming in, coming in, coming in from baseball players to tennis players. That ball is moving, right? It's traveling forward, it's not going side to side, where it's a lot easier to see. It's directly coming at you, right? So. Those eyes got to work very nicely together, coming on in, tracking that ball, and going away. So I am on my knees. My wall is a little bit shorter. So still the same content. You're right, you're right handed, throw that right hand to the back. We are going to work our dominant side as well as our non-dominant. We want to keep those eyes equally as strong. Yes, we're going to have a dominant side. We want to stimulate both. We can get into that. Again, right hand behind my back, and I'm just catching. Throwing it nice and easy, just catching. Again, great creative. We can be here for five minutes, we can be here for 10 minutes. All right, just watching that ball. Mix up your bounces. Have somebody behind you throwing it. This is another thing you can get with the partner. Have them behind you. You're just out here waiting for the ball, the ball bounces, get ready to catch it. Okay, your eyes are forward, no reflection, no cheating. All right, looking out. Okay, here it comes, the ball comes, and I'm there. All right, I'm there watching it, I'm watching it. Different variations, mix it up, mix it up. Depending on your sport, we're playing basketball, that ball is coming up. When we're shooting it, that ball is bouncing to the ground. Work both fields of vision. 
We got those golfers, okay. More times than not, we're gonna be down here. There's no reason for our ball to come up other than when we're launching that ball. So really, you know, work your field depending on your sport. And if you're just doing this for fun, <laughs> In general, stimulate that vision. Work the top corners, work the bottom, really work those peripherals, try and stay forward and maintain that visual field. All right, okay, right around here, I start to lose it. Incorporate the eyes, there they are, and see if that helped at all. All right, see if that allowed your peripheral to go a little bit further. The more your eyes can see you, just, right, the more they can pick up, the better you will be able to receive. Nice and easy, nice and simple, right? Coming from the top to the bottom, or for those of us with this, again, where that ball is traveling a little bit lower, baseball, definitely baseball players, basketball, where you gotta go and get that ball sometimes, that ball is nice and low, rugby, right? That ball is coming down here, right? Doesn't matter what, what we're playing, it can enhance all of our movements. Up and easy, nice and down. You can see here I'm on my knees, right? Still nice, nice and wide. I'm able to move. All right, top to bottom, bottom to top. Different areas, a little bit further away. Again, baseball, going into soccer. This is something great for those goalies, goalkeepers, right? And I'm ready for that ball. Speaking of goalkeepers, we have a little funky ball. It's misshaped, different angles, different grooves, different bumps. And this is just to keep you off balance, right? Um, Amazon, uh, I see them in the stores, the dollar stores, something nice and easy. You don't know where it's gonna bounce. You don't know where it's gonna go. So again, first off, nice and easy. Get a bouncy one, get one that doesn't bounce as much, right? Nice. And just ready for that ball. Right. Okay, get creative. Have somebody behind you so you can't see the ball where it's going. You see the ball, you gotta respond. <laughs> it's not as easy, right? Using all in each side, it's using both hands. One hand first, and then go ahead and supplement the two. And just as you see this, this movement, we do it all day, reaching for the door, right? Reaching for an object. We do it in sports. Make sure that hand is crossing over, not just across that chest, leaving the, right, the range of your body, not just shoulder, but going past that shoulder, not just below, diving underneath that, right, that hip, whether you're standing, whether you're kneeling, Right, get all corners of that field. Again, that's just working, just variations of the hand. Still working on that lower balance up top. Right, again, all areas feel looking to work. All right, now for those after we get in a routine, try it on your knees. Right, okay, those of us a little more advanced, okay, we got the hang of it. Stand up, right? Get on your feet. Again, using that funny ball. This one is gonna move for us, right? Get nice and wide. Whether you're a football player, soccer, right? That goalkeeper, baseball player, definitely. You know, just using those movements. Go ahead and start nice and easy. All right, start nice and easy. See where that ball is going. Again, start low to top, right? That bottom, let the ball hit down first. So it goes up into that wall. If you want the higher bounce, if you want the lower bounce, use opposite. Throw that ball, let it hit the wall first, create that momentum going down. All right, use those. Again, that twist, All right? This is why we're looking for that ball out here, why we're looking for that range. The eyes can see it, our body should be able to respond to it. Right. If your eyes can see that ball, if your eyes can get to cricket, right? If your eyes can see that ball, you should be able to catch it. Catch it, hit it, grab it. Right? 
whatever your sport may be, accomplish that little thing. Keep practicing, get creative, wanna see your videos, questions, comments. Hope you guys enjoy.